crack cocaine. The problem is crack cocaine. Crack cocaine may deny these black children a decent future. What's up, YouTube? It's Match Moon Sane, back with another video. The title of this video is Rap is the New Crack. <laughs> You smoke crack, don't you? All right, so before I start this video, let me make it clear that I love rap. I listen to rap. I like sometimes make rap songs. Now, just substitute the word rap with crack, okay? Imagine I just said, listen, hey, YouTube, let me make this straight. I love crack. I smoke crack. I deal crack. I do crack. You will look at me like, what the f- All right. So, the reason I'm even making this video in the first place, uh, this will be a part one. I'll do, like, a series later on, and I'll go more in depth and do my research and really just, you know, go more in depth. As of right now, it's pretty much just me almost inventing, so to say, but really just speaking facts. That's all I ever really do. So, as you know, in the 80s, crack era was crazy. Not to become a conspiracy theorist or be a conspiracy theorist right now in the moment, because I don't really want to do that. You know, if you know, you know. But... Crack essentially was planted and it was rigged like the um, <laughs> Super Bowl. But uh, yeah, so crack was pretty much epidemic in the 80s. It took over the minorities. Well, actually it took over the majorities. It's blacks and minorities, you know. It, it really destroyed the community. It destroyed generations even to this day. To this day. To this day. To this day. It destroyed a lot. Rap was essentially planted and planned, obviously. You know, it sent a lot of people to jail. It got a lot of people killed. A lot of people murdered. It ruined a lot of lives, you know, in the ghettos of America, which typically consist of people like me and probably you. And if not you, I'm sure you care. Or I hope you care. And if you don't care. So crack took over the 80s. You know, you had a lot of crack babies, a lot of crack mamas. That's where all these words and these sayings came from. This is very serious. This is true business. This is no joke. And this is no joke. Crack ruined us, the people. Somebody profit off it. Some people profit off it, of course. So during the crack era, you had you was either doing two things, or better yet, you were doing three things. There were three things you was doing during a crack era. One, selling it. Two, using it. Three, against it meaning you was probably doing riots you were not necessarily riots but you were doing protests you were doing marching you were doing things to just you know you was maybe in the community doing things you would maybe someone like me who always preaching and always giving game and always just talking 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 all right so you were doing one of these three things like i said using it abusing it or against it you know and you got to understand when you're put in a cage or you're put in a predicament where you only have literally three options and you have to choose what else can you do besides choose so like I said, you were either using it, abusing it, or against it, you know? And the reason I even brought that up, or the reason why I'm comparing this to rap is because rap, you know, in 2024, and also the more recent years, is literally the new crack. You see, rap started off as something, I'm not a, a hip-hop historian, I don't really necessarily know everything. I just know rap started off as something genuine. It started off as people in the hood doing a thing, you know, it's an expression, it's literally art, it's a form of art, you know, it's something that literally, it shifts and it shapes the world, it shapes your soul, you know, rap is something very beautiful. Music itself is something very beautiful, but as you know, it has been flipped against you has been flipped against us, so to say. So nowadays, 2024 and, you know, a little before everyone wants to be a rapper. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. You know, nowadays you're either the one that listen to rap, make rap, or you're against rap, or you just whatever. I don't whatever. It's not it's you see where I'm going with this. So imagine, you know, back then I wasn't born in the 80s. So imagine back then, you know, you see your mom on crack, you see your father on crack, your family on crack. You're gonna nine times out of ten, you're gonna end up selling it, which is so ironic. It sounds crazy, but you're gonna end up selling it. You know, we had a lot of drug dealers, the incarceration the incarceration rates went a freaking skyrocketed. The incarceration rates are crazy from the 80s even up until then. You know, it's different drugs now, but point in the topic of this video isn't even necessarily more so about rap, but it's more so about the transition from crack to rap. Like I said, when rap started off, it was innocent. It was not even necessarily innocent. It was just something in its pure essence, sort of like opium. It was something in its pure in its pure essence. And what is it now? It's a drug. It's a drug and it's killing you and it's killing people and it's putting people to jail and people is killing over, you know? And nowadays we have drill music, we have rap, we have rap beef, and this stuff puts so many people in the grave and in jail that it's not even funny. See, of course, I am a millennial. I think I am. I don't know. But I don't have necessarily that many facts prepared for you guys, you know? That's why I say this is part one. 
part two. We're giving it, we're pulling out the facts. I'm already speaking facts. I'm not lying to you. I'm already speaking facts. But part two, we're pull, we're, we'll pull out the, the statistics and all of that. You know, that's when people watch the video. they like, oh, oh, maybe he's right. Maybe he's not lying. Maybe he's not just talking. Maybe he's not. So nowadays you got the rap, you got the rap this, you got all of this stuff. Rap went from something so organic to something so violent. You know, you look over the news, look on the TV, all you see is murder, killing, raping, drugs, da 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 da, and it's stemming from the music. You see, every time you see these people that like go on these interviews and they they point out rappers and they they target rappers, and a rapper is like, "Yo, I'm just expressing what I'm going through." But well, hold on, buddy, what you're really doing is you're you're glorifying this shit after a while. You know, it go from okay, at first you can rap about it, da da da, I'm in the hood, da da da, but then it gets to a point where you're glorifying it and you're perpetuating this wound that is going on. So, rap has become weaponized against us, against people. If you listen to rap, I don't care your race, I don't care what you are. Rap is freaking. It's possessing you, literally, those beats, everything, the lyrics, everything. And like I said, I literally listen to rap all the time, like all the time. I'm not lying. I listen to rap myself. So that's why this is part one. You know, as I evolve, as I really transition and step into a space where I'm more at an advantage and I can speak on it from a better standpoint, then yeah. So this is part one. But rap literally controls the world. Rap is like rap. Rap. In and of itself is not the problem, but the way it's become is the problem. The direction, the trajectory, I think I said that right, is the problem. Rap is literally the new crack. Every young guy wants to rap. They want to sell their mixtapes. Back then, we were selling crack. Now, you're selling mixtapes. Selling It went from selling crack to selling mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Back then, the rapper was just the guy who seen it and he talked about it. Now, it's the guys that's like, whoa, like, I want to make some money off this shit. I want to genuinely change my life. I seen it change his life. I want to change my life. So what? So what if I'm misleading these kids or I'm doing this, doing this? I want to change my life. I'm thinking about me. Because after all, I do got to think about me, right? Right? So it's become weaponized and it's become something that is detrimental. And I'm not saying stop rapping. I'm not saying... Blah, 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 blah. I'm not even saying that. In conclusion, I'm not even saying that. I'm simply saying that rap has become a problem. And the only solution is to redirect the direction, to redirect it. You know, that's it. We need some, and it's not necessary. I'm not saying go be a, a woke rapper or whatever these things is. I'm just saying step in a space where we are not necessarily glorifying the BS, but we're speaking on it and we have intentions to change it. That's it. If your intention, if you don't have any intentions to change it or to better it, then you're a part of the problem. So like I said, this is part one. Part two, I'm bringing out the facts. I'm bringing out the statistics and I'm going to go more in depth. And maybe I'll even do a, uh, I'll start off with a crack video and then a rap video. All right. Like and subscribe. That's this video.